bond is represented like so. There's two electrons. Therefore, there is one pair of electrons being shared. They're the lowest in energy, and they have the longest bond length. So lowest in energy, longest bond length. So they're the easiest to break, L and L. A double bond is represented like so. So they have four electrons or two pairs of electrons that are shared. Triple bonds have three pairs of electrons that are shared. They are the strongest bond and the shortest bond length. So the strongest and the shortest. So it requires the most energy to break a triple bond. And the more electrons that are being shared, the closer those atoms will get. Resonance occurs when there's more than one valid Lewis structure that can be written for a particular molecule. So more than one valid Lewis structure that can be written for a particular molecule. What that means is you have a double or triple bond so you have a double or triple bond that can be in a different spot. If there are no double or triple bonds in the molecule, then the molecule will not have resonance. So let's see what that means. First, we need to draw the Lewis structure for carbonate. So carbonate is a polyatomic ion. No three with a negative two charge. Carbon has four valence and each oxygen has six. So 18 plus four. 22, and then it's a negative 2 charge, so we need to add 2. So we have 24 valence electrons. Starting on the left of your box, draw the Lewis structure for carbonate. Restart once you have the structure for carbonate. So that's the structure you should have gotten for carbonate. Three oxygens coming off. One with a double bond and the other two with single bonds. Your double bond did not have to be over here. So there was three spots I could have put that double bond. I chose to put it where I did, which means this structure has resonance. When it has resonance and it says draw all resonance structures, then you have to draw all of them with a double headed arrow. So I'm going to draw it looking the same, except I'm going to move that double bond. And when I move the double bond, now I need four electrons on this one because it can only have eight. And since there were three locations that that double bond could be at, I have three resonance structures. So why that's important is because the real structure is a hybrid of all three of these structures. The double bond isn't here, nor is it here or here. It's spread between all three. So carbonate, you would expect to have two long, two, double bo two bonds that are long and one that is shorter because single bonds are longer than double bonds. But what happens is all of the bond links are between a single and a double bond. It's kind of like they have one and a third of a bond link. So you'll have two different types of questions for dealing with resonance. One, it could just say which of these molecules displays resonance. So you'll need to draw the Lewis structures for them and see which one has, more, has resonance. So there was a double or triple bond that could be in more than one spot. Or 
you will have a Lewis structure and it says draw all resonance forms if applicable. So in this case, you would need to draw all three of them because it says showing all resonance structures. So go ahead and pause the video and draw the Lewis structure for nitrate and then figure out which of these is the true structure. Restart when you have an answer. So nitrate is NO3 with a negative charge. So I have 24 valence electrons. The first one is wrong because 26 valence electrons were used. If I only have 24, I can't use 26. B is wrong because nitrogen currently only has six. Valence six electrons on nitrogen. And all the atoms need to have eight, unless it's boron, beryllium, or hydrogen. This one, nitrogen has two, four, six, eight, ten. So the central atom has ten electrons. That can't happen. And in this case, we have two, four, six, eight, so that looks good. And then I've used 24 electrons. So D is the correct structure for the answer. Looking at D, you should also realize that this has resonance and it has three resonance structures, just like carbonate. So to draw those structures, we would just rotate it three different ways. You're gonna write all three Lewis structures on your note packet. Again, make sure that you've drawn all the resonance structures in your notes. And finally, you can also see questions like this, where it says order the following species in order of increasing bond length. So if we want increasing bond length, we want it to go from shortest to longest. The first thing you're going to have to do is draw the Lewis structures for all three, all four of those molecules. I'll give you a hint on this one. Carbon is in the middle. You have three hydrogens coming off, but I can't have everything coming off. So you draw it just like you see it. CH3 and then O and then H. So that's the structure for CH3OH or methanol. So you need to draw the other three. Restart when you have the drawing for each of them. So these are the structures you should have gotten. This one we drew right above it, it had resonance. None of the others have resonance, just carbonate. So if we want to go from shortest, the shortest is a triple bond. Well, CO has a triple bond, so that's the shortest then we would go to a pure double bond. Well, this one only has double bonds, so that would be the next shortest. This one is like one and a third bond length, so that would be next. And single, because this only has single bonds, that would be the longest. So this is already in order from shortest to longest. 